Hey and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Borland Quattro Pro 2.0. This is one of my favorite pieces of software from the era. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's talk about what's new in Quattro Pro 2.0. We have Solve for new back solving goal seeking technology, Paradox SQL access, improved network support, 130 column display support, uh, read write to Lotus 2.2 file format, electronic slide show capabilities, that was a big deal with Quattro Pro, true 3D layered graphs, graph buttons for executing macros, and branching slide shows, uh, create 35 millimeter slides with PCX and EPS format output, import hundreds of commercial CGM clip art pieces, and faster laser jet printing performance. So inside the box, aside from all the ads and licensing and registration stuff we get in these kinds of things, we get a quick start, a getting started guide. Uh, we get a really, we get a really good manual. This guy goes into great detail. It has on some of these pages. It has things for talking about the Lotus One Two Three equivalent of certain functions will be. So it's super easy if you're coming from Lotus 123 to make the switch to Quattro Pro. We also get a macros and at functions reference. The program comes on six five and a quarter dis inch discs or three yeah, three and a half inch discs. We have a quick reference guide. It has all the different at functions and macros and stuff. As well as if you have the Pro Show Power Pack, you'll get that in the little envelope with all the stuff for that in there. And we get a, a keyboard overlay. As you can see, I am at the computer. I already have Quattro Pro installed on here, so uh, let's load it up. So it's got a very nice, very modern looking user interface. Um, but the layout's not too different. Got your formula bar, you got your worksheet, got your menu. It's got this really handy macro menu bar thing here. And as you can see, it has mouse support, which is really nice. Not required, but that's definitely something that makes it better than Lotus 1, 2, 3. Obviously, you don't require a mouse, but it's really handy to have. Makes things go much quicker. You got these pretty modern drop down menus, which are nice. Another draw to Quattro Pro is its graphing capabilities. As you can see, we do lots of things with our graphs. We go ahead and view the graph. We can see it's 3D, so we got options for like nice 3D graphs and stuff. It also has a built-in draw package, which if you go to annotate here, we can add things to our graph. We can change colors and add text too, but we can do something like maybe like an arrow. We can move arrows around, you can add shapes and whatnot, you can add text, really nice. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to use Quattro Pro in this video since I've already done a video on it, uh, links below in the description, as well as at the end of the video. Another benefit to Quattro Pro is we get a multiple worksheets open at a time. So we got this one open, but let's open another one. Let's open this budget over here. So we can have those two worksheets open. Uh, we can do like window, we can tile them. We've got this sheet over here, we've got this sheet down here, and then we've got this sheet over here. So we can have up to or open at a time. Let's do that. Got lots of the worksheets open. Super handy. Lots of good multitasking. So that's another great feature of Quattro Pro. So is Quattro Pro worth buying or not? Since it's five hundred dollars, just like Lotus One Two Three, and it comes with a lot more. I, and it's super easy to transition if you're coming from Lotus 1.2.3. It's backwards compatible with the files. And 
a lot of the stuff and functions are in the same places. And it also has things in the manual to help tell you about equivalent functions and what they're called to help transfer you over to Quattro Pro. I'd say it's definitely worth buying. It's definitely the spreadsheet program of the future. How well does Quattro Pro 2.0 hold up today in 2020? And I think it, it's definitely a product of its time, you know, so it, it holds up better than its contemporaries, but it's still maybe not as good as what we have today. But it still is very functional. You can still do pretty much everything you can do in modern versions of Excel that you can do in this program. It's just not as fast, not as convenient, a lot clunkier. But it still works as a spreadsheet program, and it's still pretty fun to use. So if you enjoy these kinds of videos about old software and whatnot, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to hit that thumbs down. I won't be offended. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.